Hello and good morning. My name is Tani at Yoga 413 and thank you so much for starting your day with me with this yoga morning stretch class. We're gonna begin in a seated position, so come on down to your mat. Take a big breath in, reach your arms over the head and exhale, just float them down. Again, inhale, lengthening the back and exhale, release. One more time, big breath in and exhale. Let's place the hands on the knees, flowing through a seated cow and cat. So move the heart forward, drop the shoulders down, turn the gaze up, and then exhale, round your spine back, chin towards chest. Again, inhale, open, and exhale, round. You are welcome here to close your eyes as you simply move with the breath. Awakening all those muscles around the spine and opening up your heart. One more round of breath. Let's straighten the back, sit up nice and tall. Take the hand down to the mat and reach across for a nice side body stretch. Again, really lengthening out of that low back. Lifting up and switching sides. Lengthen and exhale into that stretch. Begin to rise up. And we're going to move to a tabletop position onto all fours. So bringing the hips right over the knees, let's thread the needle. Let's begin with the right arm underneath, palm up as you gently twist and lower the head and the shoulder to the mat. Begin to press up and switch sides, threading that arm underneath. Lifting up, let's widen the knees slightly, bringing the feet together, sit back into your child's pose. Begin to lengthen the arms a little bit further forward, just really lengthening through the back, feeling that gentle stretch through the arms. Begin to rise up, moving into downward facing dog, bringing the feet hip distance apart, Begin to alternate bending the knees, pedaling out your feet nice and slow. We're going to deeply bend both knees, lift the hips up, lengthen through that back. And then slowly start to straighten the legs, any amount. So always know if you're feeling a little tight this morning, you can always keep those knees slightly bent. Begin to walk the feet forward, take your time. Moving into our first forward fold. And again, first thing in the morning, sometimes we're a little um, tight, at least I know I am. So you are welcome to soften those knees, bend them as deeply as you need to, and focus instead on lengthening the back. And then slowly drawing a little bit more straightness into the legs as you awaken those hamstrings all down the back side of the body. 
Let's flatten the back, take the hands to the shins and lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Begin to rise up strong, high mountain pose. Taking the arms to your sides, Tadasana. Reach the arms up over the head. Take that right arm down. Again, take that nice side body stretch. Rising back up. Exhaling to the other side. Lifting up, bringing the hands to the heart. We're gonna step the left foot back, extend the arms into warrior two. Take the right palm up and then gently reach back, stretching to that side body, lightly touching that back leg. Begin to rise up, straightening your forward leg. We're going to move into triangle pose now. Again, lengthen, and wherever that hand lands is perfect. Just maintain that alignment over that forward leg. Rise up. Turn the toes forward to the long edge of your mat. Begin to hinge forward into airplane pose. Taking the hands to the mat for support, gently come into your standing straddle, walking the hands through the legs. Feel the top of the head reaching for the mat. Walking the hands forward underneath you. Extend the arms out to the sides for that half lift. Feel your strength to rise up, arms up. Turn the left toes to the back of the mat, bend into warrior two. Left palm up to the sky, reach back, reverse warrior. Lifting up, moving into your triangle pose. Lengthen out of that side body, turning your gaze up. Lifting out of the pose, turning those toes forward, line with the heels, halfway to airplane. And we're going to change this up just a bit. Reach your arms behind you, either clasping the hands or maybe grabbing onto the elbows. And then fold forward into your straddle. taking the hands to the mat and begin to walk back to the front of your mat, stepping back to downward facing dog. Taking the knees to the mat, sit back into extended child's. Gently come up and we're gonna have a seat on the mat. Extending the right leg forward, bring the left foot to the inner thigh. Lengthen the back, sit up tall, hinge forward into that one leg fold.
begin to lift up and switch sides, extending the left leg, right foot in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Lifting out of the pose. Let's roll on down to our backs and hug the knees to the chest. Taking the feet to the floor, arms to your sides, let's press up into a bridge pose. Drawing the shoulders inward and down as we press the hips up. Dropping the hips to the mat, coming into happy baby pose. Peace fingers around the big toes, gently guiding the knees down. Hugging the knees back into the chest. Let's keep the right knee in as the left leg extends out. Moving into our spine twist, dropping across the body, keeping the shoulders down onto the mat. Let's turn our gaze down that right arm. back onto our back and switching sides, pulling the left knee in and down, and then coming into our spine twist. Hugging the knees back into the chest. Start to circle the ankles one direction and then the other. Taking the feet down to the mat. Let's drop the knees open wide, bottoms of the feet touching into reclining butterfly. Begin to extend the legs out for Shavasana with the palms up, the eyes are closed. May we look at this day as a gift. And as we move throughout the day, may we do our best to practice patience, with those around us and to spread a little kindness and share a smile, especially to those who might be struggling today. Setting any personal intention for your day. Then begin to bend the knees and roll to your side. Helping yourself up to have a seat on your mat. Let's take one more deep breath in and bringing the hands to the heart. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you again for joining me for class and I hope you have a blessed day.